Hello everyone, this is Rob Capellini, the director of VLab. I wanted to quickly share some tips with you on how to navigate VLab. On every page, you'll see a header, and on mobile devices, you'll see a sidebar. This is used for navigating around the top level structure of VLab. As you can see on the VLab header bar, we first have a VLab link. Anytime you click this link, it'll take you to the main landing page. You can also access what we call welcome pages for each application by clicking on the analysis dropdown and selecting the respective application from the dropdown. You can access our application level documentation by clicking on the documentation link. We also have related sites, which you can access by clicking on the respective dropdown links when clicking on the related sites menu. Lastly, if you'd like to access the site in Chinese, we provide a translation by clicking on the respective link in the language dropdown menu. Another key way of navigating VLab is by utilizing the VLab search bar. This search bar appears right below the main navigation header. On mobile devices, you'll have to click the search icon and a pop-up will show up with this same information. This search bar can be used to navigate to a specific analysis page within VLab, or if you're just searching, it can be used to search for analysis using our search capabilities. If you just want to search, you can click on the text box in our search bar and enter your search term. Matching results will show up on the search page itself. If you wanted to search for a specific application or model, you would utilize the application and model dropdowns. For example, if I wanted to search for a liquidity analysis using the Alic SMEM model for IBM, I would enter my search term and the results would show up on a drop down below the search box. If you click on the item in the search box, the respective analysis page will appear. For certain applications, the search bar is disabled and will take you directly to the analysis page. For example, for a systemic risk analysis, in this case, our global MES model, there is only one data set, so there's no need to search. If you just click the Go button, you'll be taken to the respective page for our global systemic risk analysis. One last tip is that if you'd like to search using the wildcard character, which is a placeholder for any text in the search term, the wildcard character is the percent sign. So if you wanted to search using this wildcard, I can click search or go, and it will take you to the respective search page using that percent sign as the wildcard character. When you first enter the VLAB URL in your browser, you'll be taken to the main landing page. This page provides a broad overview and links to all the application welcome pages we have inside of VLab. The first thing you'll see is our global volatility map. I'll get into the details of what's in this map later, but for now know that it's a good general overview of volatility throughout the world, providing the capability to drill down in more detail for each country if you click on that country. Again, more to follow about this. Underneath the global volatility map, you'll see each of these applications I talked about earlier with a link to each. Clicking on the drop down arrow in each application box will provide you a brief description of the application. Clicking the See More link will take you to the welcome page for that application, whereas clicking on the documentation link will take you to the application level documentation page. Scrolling down further on the page, you'll notice a link to a monitoring risk with VLab presentation given by Professor Rob Engel, which is a great overview on how to use VLab in general. Also on the bottom of the main landing page, we have recent tweets or retweets from the NYU VLab Twitter account. Lastly, on the footer of the page, we have a link to send us an email. Please do send us an email if you have any feedback or any questions. There's also a link taking you to an overview of VLab telling you a little bit more about us, as well as an accessibility and additional provisions link. That concludes our tutorial of VLab. 
I hope you got something out of this presentation. We'll be making more of these videos in the future, so if you have any questions on the use or structure of VLAB, please send us a note using the contact form on the app. Thank you very much for listening.